One of the reasons why I love coming to Glebe is there's a really good atmosphere. Lots of beautiful markets, um, obviously beautiful Covert chocolate, great coffee, really good atmosphere to come down and celebrate some food. I have a little bit of a passion for desserts, in particular chocolate desserts. Um, I had a, a couple of wins on the show involving chocolate and um, I probably surprised myself a little bit. So yeah, love making chocolate desserts. One of the reasons why I like um, Centuro's chocolate is it originated from Spain, which is one of the original birthplaces of chocolate, and it really comes down to the flavour. It's got to do with the amount of cocoa solids and cocoa butter added to the chocolate. It eliminates things like vegetable oils and uh, extra sugars that are put into chocolate to perhaps make it taste nice, but really the quality is not as good as Cova to chocolate. It also should have a really good brittle snap when you break into it. It should have a really uh, glossy finish, um, particularly when you're making desserts. One of my favourite chocolate desserts is making chocolate ice cream. It's great to make with the kids and also a great one to make at home. You can play around with flavours, you know exactly what's going into the ice cream. And today we're going to make a beautiful chocolate ice cream. I've got 150 grams of dark Coverture chocolate. Now I've just brought this milk up to um, simmering point and I'm going to pour it into the chocolate to melt it. I'm just going to whisk that up. So I've just finished melting my chocolate um, with the warm milk and now I'm going to add 300 grams of fresh cream. I'm just going to come over to my mixer and I'm going to add four egg yolks and I've got half a cup of custard sugar. We're going to continue beating the mixture and add in some warm milk until they're lovely and pale and creamy. Then incorporate the chocolate. So I'm going to bring it up to the folding setting. And I'm just going to slowly pour the chocolate in. The final stage is we're going to attach the scraper paddle to the ice cream bowl, onto the mixer, and then we're going to set it to the fold knead setting. And I've got my chilled ice cream mixture here. I'm going to gently bring the setting up to folding and kneading and I'm going to pour in my ice cream mixture. And this is going to churn our ice cream. We want to do this for about 15 to 20 minutes. So the freezer bowl is actually freezing the ice cream and the paddle is churning the mixture so the ice crystals don't form. This in turn makes a creamier, smoother ice cream. So this is looking really close to being ready now. So I'm going to switch it off. If you wanted a harder consistency, you could easily just pop it into a plastic tub, pop it in the freezer for a, a little bit longer. But I like it just like this. Mm. 